Hello, this is Patrick with 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is take a look at the brand new parting cycle provided by 1CNC XR5. Now, all I'm doing here is just creating a solid representation of the part. That looks good. And I have our parting line right back here. All right, so to get to the new parting cycle, we're going to head over to the main toolbar, and from the cam category, we'll select Lay Tool Pass. And from there, you can see the brand new parting cycle. It's right here. I'm going to grab that by left clicking. And the first thing that one CNC asks us is to select the part line. And notice how that highlights. That looks great. We can grab it anywhere we want. I'm going to grab it right there. That looks good. I already have a tool selected, and I'm not too worried about speeds and feeds right now. And our clearances look great. All right, so here's our brand new parting dialog box. First thing, notice that we can perform a standard part off, or we can use pecking if we'd like. All right, so standards is going to take the parting tool, go all the way, cut it off. Pecking is going to perform the part off using peck amounts. I'm going to go with standard. You can specify an optional clearance value if you'd like. The entry amount and overcut amount, that's really just how far above this line we want to start feeding down and how far past the bottom of the line we want to start feeding. So entry is up here above, and the overcut amount is past the very bottom of that. So all that looks good. Also note too that you have the ability to cut on the left side of the stock, on the middle, or the right side. Okay, so if I pick left, and let's say this is the line I selected right here. If I pick left, my tool is going to be on the left hand side. If I pick middle, the middle of the tool is going to drive down the geometry. If I pick right, the tool is going to be on the right hand side. Let's just go with left, and we'll click finish on there. And so there we go, there's our part off. All right, now let's quickly go in here and edit this. We're going to edit the operation. We're going to blast over here. Let's put in a peck amount now. Let's make this 200 thousandths. That looks good. And the peck retract amount, I'm going to have it 50 thousandths. Now let's preview this. We'll preview toolpath. Let's change our, our view here. Let's go with, how about a plain view? All right, and if I slow this down even more, you can see the actual pecking taking place. Let's rewind that. So here you go. There's the peck, and there's the 50 thousandths retract as we go down. Now one of the most powerful things about this new operation or new cycle is the fact that we can perform a finish pass. This is great. Let me demonstrate this. We're going to go back to a plain view here. All right. Now notice up here at the top I have no chamfer, I have no fillet. But if we head over here to our parting operation, let's edit that. We're going to head right over here. You can see there's an option down here called finish settings. If we select perform a finish pass, we can perform a finish pass to take off some extra material that we've left behind. Notice that the style is could or can be standard, chamfer, or radius. All right, I'm going to go with a chamfer. Okay, so the chamfer width, I'm going to make this big so we can just see it. I'm going to put in how about 400 thousandths for that. Leave for finish, I'm going to say zero, and the cutoff amount, I'm going to say 200 thousandths. Okay, so this is what the cutoff amount is right here. So here's what the tool is going to do. It's going to feed down to the cutoff amount. It's going to come back up, it's going to cut the chamfer, and then it's, go, it's going to go past the cutoff amount all the way down past center line based upon whatever we have here at the overcut amount. So I'm going to say finish on that. Let's go ahead and preview this, preview tool paths. So here we go. This is the, it looks like I'm still pecking, but that's okay. We'll speed it up a little bit. So we're not going to go to center line. Remember, we're going to leave a cutoff amount of about 200,000. So that's going to be right about here. Tool's going to come back up now. And now we're going to perform the chamfer. So the tool is going to head back. There we go. Here's our chamfer. And now we're going to go past the cutoff amount and we're going to go down past center line based upon whatever we put in for the, the overcut amount. And there we go. So within XR5, there's a great new cycle called the parting cycle. Very, very powerful. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.